Okay. Here we are, we're at the lake. Wow, my little kill is working. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, we just flipped it. Oh, that kill isn't going to work. Son of a gun, man. Hey, how you doing? Well, this is uh, this is the conclusion to the video where I flipped the boat. I put this little keel on it, and I had I had it up to that line was underneath, and it was about right in front of the motor is where I had the keel, and it worked great for tracking straight. But as soon as I put it into a turn, I mean, as soon as I turned, she flipped. It looks like I got a little. Wrong way. Minimum trim reached. Minimum trim reached. All right, so I got I got to figure out. It must have slid underwater. It must have moved because I it was it was in it was underwater, but. But it works. My battery is real dead. That's the battery that was under the water. So that battery is probably at LVC or close to it. There you have her though. So it works fine. I let it dry for two days. And I just wanted to get this a little closure to the video. This is Jeff with the boat. And <laughs> it flipped and turtled. And I was running the motor underwater too. <laughs> Trying to get it to shore. And I left to get my fishing pole. And when I came back, um, I noticed the boat, it took me just a little over an hour to get from the, the pond at Eastgate Park to my house and back because the traffic was pretty bad. There you have her, man. No harm, no foul. We'll fix that up. We'll straighten it up. We'll get it set. I'm not using the kill anymore. The kill, the kill, all it did is allowed it to go fast forward, but I'd rather have the ability to not flip it. There we go. We're back in action. Tuco's out here. It's a hot day, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for becoming subbing and becoming part of Team Let's Go Flying. Ow, 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 ow.